from the making of this video, this is currently how much time we have left until the game releases. But right now, I currently am on Weathering Waves, just waiting for the game to launch. And it tells you right here that it will release on May 23rd at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, it will launch on Thursday. So right now it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. The launch will be 10 in the morning on Thursday. So right after work, I'll be able to you know, wake up and play the game and get my hands on Weathering Waves for the first time. I'm going to say this right now because I've noticed a lot of people have left a lot of dislikes on my video because I was ranting about why Weathering Waves will fail and it will. I don't care how much sales it makes. I don't care how successful they become. The success will just be because of the hype. It's just a hype factor. It's going to be overhyped. This game is just going to be another Genshin Impact mistake. People are saying that this game has fixed a few mistakes that Genshin made, but there is still a lot more that needs to be fixed and added into the game for me to even enjoy it. I have complained about it since Genshin, and if I don't get this in Wuthering Waves, I'm just going to uninstall, and I'm going to just be the guy that sits in the back reacting to other people's content and just laughing about how much of a loser they are in a gacha game and they're stuck in the gacha addiction. Whereas me right here, I'm the Sigma Alpha male. I have escaped the gacha addiction, the gacha matrix, and I could go in freely without feeling the need of doing something. Because if I don't even complete my tasks in Genshin anymore and my stories, why would I do it in Weathering Waves? If it doesn't have what I want as a as a player, this game means nothing to me. And I'm not saying that the game is bad for everybody. It's going to just be specifically for a certain amount of people. Not everybody has to like the same game. And you guys have already shown that you expect me to like this game. It's just going to be the rinse and repeat cycle. The same events happening. The same dramas. The same game issues. Over and over again with Wuthering Waves. I hope you guys take some serious thought into this. Is this game really going to be worth it for you? Are you just hyped for the fact that there's going to be a game that's out there besides Genshin Impact? Because... From the looks of it, everybody is just comparing this to Genshin. And everybody is just hyped that there's something that's going to compete or destroy Genshin. Or, in a way, it might not even destroy it at all and not even compete. And it might be a flop. Take some serious thoughts about this. Because I could be the guy who cries wolf and nobody listens. And then when I do die or I do get, like, canceled or something. Or you know, I get off the radar of social media and everybody realizes what I've been trying to preach. And try to inform you guys about the mistakes that could happen. The same gotcha mistakes. You're going to experience the same things that any gotcha would give you. Especially Genshin. This is just another Genshin clone with a reskin with a few tweaks, but it's not any different at all. There is no MMO. There is, there is no better experience with the game besides unlimited stamina and grappling or whatever, and then flashy combos. And then you got the same boring bosses every single fight that don't do anything. What I really want is an MML experience with a server full of like 50 to 100 players. Because I'm saying, if this is an open world game and you are required to play online just to play single player, what's the point? Also, I want the bosses to be more difficult like a Souls-like game. I want it to be challenging. I want the bosses to not have like tanky HP but just like more technical fighting moves you know like to make it where you have to think more where you have to be more patient where you don't have to keep spamming that attack button and your skills and your ultimates I want it to mean something I want it to feel like I'm actually doing something in the game instead of click 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 okay dodge iframe you guys are just not getting the point here this game is going to be another Genshin flop another Genshin mistake if nobody talks about this stuff then nothing's going to get fixed Either way, it's still not going to get fixed, even if I talk about it, because nobody's going to give a crap of what I even say. Everybody's going to be so obsessed with either the story, or the characters, or just trying to, you know, focus on grinding in the game, building their metas. I want to focus on what really needs to be changed in the game. I don't want a competitor. I want something new. I want, or, I want something that's way different than the gacha game we are all used to. Put some serious thought into it, please.